Welcome back to another episode featuring a conversation with YouTube presenter Mike Spinelli. Brought to you by PETA Online, this is Off Track. Well, it's, it's interesting that you, uh, you mentioned that uh, you know, getting stuff out wasn't really your thing because um, I have a website um, that uh, my uh, PETA Online website is, is for DIY stuff. Now, this is basically, I want it to be a knowledge hub. I want it to be something that, you know, information that people can just um, get that doesn't have to be timely. Right. Um, that way I'm not in competition with Jalopnik or Autoblog or whatever, but it's, it's providing something that they don't have. And I, I want to have that sort of same camaraderie and, uh, you know, that, that the whole... Uh, car people stick together, right, you know, right, that, that, right. That, that kind of thing. Well, the thing, you know, and I, I it's, first of all, that's a great idea because I think what Vox Media has shown is that in politics is that people need, people need and want explainers. Right. Because you can't know everything. Mm -hmm. I'm not an engineer, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I need people to help me wrap my head around things. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, especially car technology is getting more complicated, cars in general are getting more complicated you need more explainers so I think you're on the right track with that yeah um, when it comes to uh, what was the other thing you said camaraderie yeah camaraderie I mean I think that um, that that should you know sort of come in depending on the tone that you're taking mm -hmm. with it. Um, speaking of camaraderie have you driven the bold new Camry uh, I have not driven the bold new Camry no. yeah it's uh, it, it's very very bold is it bold? Uh, I mean, yes. I know they're trying to do the whole um, design forward Camry thing. I mean, when you get inside the car, uh, a uh, an ex-con punches you in the face. <laughs> it's very edgy. It's the edgy. And he camera. tells you that he's not afraid to go back. It's like <laughs> that's how bold it is. I'm not going back, motherfucker. <laughs> that's basically that's how it pretty is. Bold. That's, how, that's how bold well, it is. Well, that's the uh, the Travis Sikorsky edition. Ah, oh yes. <laughs> um, well, yeah. So. What, what I um, what I wanted to do with, uh, with with my site is just the same thing that Jalopnik, uh, Jalopnik did because I have zero budget mm -hmm. and it's only me doing this. So right. what can I do that competes? Well, it's it's not going to compete with uh, with like Jalopnik or Autoblog or anything directly. Right. But what it's going to do is it's going to provide a an additional service that people can look up and you know this is like DIYs and yeah you know, I mean what I, I think do. I think that's a smart way to go the DIY thing I think the problem that everybody has now is that there is so much media oh, right yeah. so I was talking before about how getting the pictures up first mm -hmm. don't need to do that anymore because of Instagram right like like it's all of that stuff has been crowdsourced <laughs> so so oh, yeah. more than ever it's important to have a style and to have a point of view and to um to have a kind of um well the brand well a brand yeah. but yeah what is the brand in media mm -hmm. now well like the the brand is um it's a combination of all of those things and the thing that that someone who goes to your site knows that they can get from you and mm -hmm. can't get anywhere else or and i i it's harder and harder to do well, that but that's what i think i think the heart that's the thing like the hardest thing you can possibly do right now is the thing you should be doing. Right. And that is the DIY stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's hard because it takes research and you need to make sure that you technically get everything right. Mm -hmm. But the payoff is that, you know, you're not going to be disintermediated by people who are doing the same thing because mm -hmm. nobody wants to do any work. Right. right. <laughs> so well, well what, I'm, what I'm doing is I have... Um, I aggregate all the like all the DIY stuff uh, that I find online, like on uh, on forums and whatever. I aggregate them into one, you know, basically searchable, you know, index. So right. if you say I have a Mercedes uh, W220 S class mm -hmm. and I want to do something to it, these are all the guys that are available. That's and, great. You know, you can. Th this is who wrote it. This is a you know he's uh, here's um, a, a factory service manual. Here's some um, you know. Right. Uh, like um, common problems with the car. It's cool and to do that. I think, you know, that's a good place to be because like uh, if you, you basically have to go to the forums right now still mm -hmm. to find that, to find a shop manual for an old car. Right. You know, I mean, you have to go to the forums and get that. Mm -hmm. There's no place where, um, because basically the problem with a lot of that stuff is that there are some licensing issues that are not exactly being followed. Right. 
um, in some of the forums, so they have a little bit more leeway to, mm -hmm. you know, video or uh, to Xerox an entire shop manual mm -hmm. and offer it on a PDF. But yeah, um, yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it is that kind of thing, like bringing together. Um, disparate groups and the reason is you know we talked about car guys getting along car guys hate each other yes car guys f***ing hate each other but, and yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's you know like the bmw guys hate the mercedes guys hate the subaru guys hate the you know and it's like there's so much there's so much inter uh brand hatred and it's not just kids you know it, it, isn't no, it weird it when you see like a all the way into adulthood. they see a grown yeah. man it's like i only i only i only drive fours suck. yeah right yeah. fixer repair daily right <laughs> <laughs> no, but but I mean even like like oh we we God. joke about it, but but um, it that that is a you know car guys not only hate each other for brands, but they hate each other because they I know more than you, and if you don't ask me, I'm just going to assume you know you're a squid. Right, of course. So of course. so like you know it, there is a weird protective nature of holding the key to fixing shit. Right. Like I know about this. Mm -hmm. And um, if you do something stupid, mm -hmm. I'm immediately going to call you out on it. But even though you're not really doing something stupid and malicious, mm -hmm. you just maybe did something stupid. But, like, I don't know. I think there's this sort of engineering mentality where, like, you know how engineers mm -hmm. get really defensive about yeah. about people who don't know what they're talking about? <laughs> and probably for, you know, every Every reasons. mechanic I've ever talked to is like, oh, that, yeah. guy, right. that guy has no idea what he's so doing. So between that attitude and, like, the brand, the brand attitude, it's hard to bring all these guys together. And that was the, I think that was the challenge, I think, in, in Jalopnik. And I think yeah. what we did was, yeah, I mean, we tried to bring everybody together through all these things we did. But even that, right, mm -hmm. even that, like... You know, I still, I was talking to a guy once and um, and he said that he stopped reading Jalopnik in like 2005 when we used the word hoonage for the first time. <laughs> he was like, I was out. Hoonage? Ah, trendy bullshit. You know, I'm out. That guy has a difficult life. Yeah. Well, it was funny. <laughs> it's funny. That guy's, that guy's life is full of disappointment, right. honestly. Everybody's got a beef mm -hmm. in some way. And like, you can either try to bring everybody together around the different beefs they have mm -hmm. um, or you can you know sort of direct all their beefs toward a, an enemy of some kind you know I don't right. know like this is where it starts to get like a little bit too um, I don't know too complicated for me I don't I don't really care I, yeah yeah well what I wanted to do um, is one thing I do a, a, on in my writing in Jalopnik is I want to eliminate secrets yeah. I want to eliminate, you know, the uh, the trade secrets. I want to eliminate um, if I know something that somebody else doesn't know, I yeah. want them to know it that's because a, it, it help, helps everybody. It yeah, helps, sure. You know, it helps me get get views and do do what I need to do, and it helps them do whatever. It is. Like nobody loses. Right. You know, um, there are people. Um, I actually uh, wrote an article for for one site, and uh, they have this thing called uh, I don't know, like secrets of exotic cars or, or some some stupid thing. And it's like if you sign up for my uh, for this service, I'll teach you all the secrets that the dealers don't want you to know right, about. Right, right, like, right. That's, right. that's complete bullshit. Well, you know what's funny? Like that whole attitude of this is what they don't want you to know. Like that's <laughs> doctors hate him. No, but that's <laughs> oh yeah, no, but like you're right. That, right. that doctors hate him. That guy. Uh -huh. Um, it's it's basically cult leader mentality. Mm -hmm. Like those are cult tr tactics. Don't right. trust them, trust me. Yeah, I, like, I will lead you to salvation. I, well, you could, I mean, look, if that stuff didn't work, nobody would do it. But, mm -hmm. So it does, in some cases, work. So it's a little bit scary that it does, but it is like, that's how Jim Jones got everybody to Jonestown. Like, that shit, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's here's some Kool-Aid. Uh -huh. You know, they don't want you to have this Kool-Aid. Yeah. I, You know, I'm the only one who cares about you. Eh, maybe there's some cyanide in it. You know, <laughs> but like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like that's, oh, that's, boy. you know, there are plenty of people that do that. And I think we used to do that a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Like we were like, we kind of played it up and we tried all kinds of different shit, but mm -hmm. you know, we did sort of play up that we're the only ones that are really honest about um, mm -hmm. what cars are doing. But I think that's a trap to fall into. Um, I, I like truth about cars but that's their whole site is built on that mm -hmm. so it's gotten very you know it's very angry and kind of aggressive and yeah I mean I don't some of this, I like some of the articles but like then you read the comments and everybody's like 
militarized down it, It's there, a little bit like, self-congratulatory. Oh, right. Yeah, it tends to get that way, and I think Jalopnik. I mean, I, th- know, I think Jalopnik Jalop is, that, is that, way. that way in a, in a bit, you know, a, a bit too. But I think that's not my favorite part of Jalopnik is the is the self congratulatory thing. But it is, um, it is something that uh, I think, you know, media companies tend to get into, mm-hmm. no matter who it is. I, I I don't, I don't know. It's a it's a slippery slope. I think. It is. Um, I mean, I'm of the mindset that. I'm not Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can buy this S class for the price of a Ford Focus, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was gonna say. I should be, <laughs> gonna aren't you? Are you sure. reading your own article? I, I am reading my own article. You so. can have this. You can go on eBay now, and here are five <laughs> S classes you could buy for the price of that NYPD <laughs> cop car from 15 years ago because they haven't bought any new ones. All right, that's enough for today. But what did you think? You can leave a comment down below to give us your view. Or you can join us next time when we continue the conversation. Be sure to follow Mike on his YouTube channel, especially if you like mind-blowing car videos. And you can check out apitaonline.com for DIY guides, epic builds, and videos just like this. If you'd like to support apitaonline.com, you can do so by clicking through the Amazon banner on our homepage. It costs you nothing, and it lets us keep making articles and videos just like this for you for free. And on that note, always remember, life is just too short to drive boring cars.